official um, groundbreaking is an 86. It was quite a small thing, probably only about a tenth of the land we've got here at the moment, and we're doing harbour back in those days. Harbour was getting more and more difficult to get, so we transitioned into pine. We were actually one of the first people in, in Queensland anyway to do pine, to the point where we actually gave away our first month or so's worth of production to various people just to try and convince them to try it out. The demand came along and we, we expanded. We initially had the main mill, which was a repurposed hardwood mill, and that's actually quite a large advantage for us at the moment because we can take the larger logs that a lot of the other mills can't. But of course, the demand for paling material uh, was getting more and more. I mean, you can't have a guy sitting on a bench just cutting palings day in, day out. We initially started about five odd thousand a day and built up to 10 and then put all the new machinery in and now we're up about 25 odd thousand for a nine hour day. We used to also, you know, hand stack all the palings and everything and, and that's all gone to machine stacking. We haven't cut down on the number of people um, and we're fine with that. Uh, we have certainly made the jobs a lot more machine operator style jobs. Our industry is notorious for pretty high turnovers. Down in the breakdown mill where we've just put in the stacker. That was a very hard job before really, lifting 1,500 to 2,000 sleepers each day, stacking it, stripping it was a lot for, for even two or three people to, to do. So that's moved it now to being no issue in terms of, of labour and lifting. Uh, I tend to describe it as being, um, it's busy work, but it's not heavy work anymore. Our recovery rates are very good, close to the top of the industry. More importantly, all the waste, the chip, the sawdust, bark, everything is sold. We're very proud uh, and work very hard to make sure that 100% um, of the material that comes in gets uh, used as a saleable product. And yes, we need to make sure that um, we squeeze as much as we can out of every, every stick. If another couple of percent goes up the chipper, then we can't make ends meet that much. 90% of the machine we've put in has been from Gibsons. Certainly we've had a very um, close working relationship with them for the last 36 odd years. Honestly, without them being involved, we would certainly not look anywhere near the shape that we are at the moment.